Well, hi, I'm Josh Hetzler with the Founding Freedoms Law Center. This is Jim Davids, Chief Counsel. We're outside of the uh, John Marshall Court Building in Richmond, where we just argued a case, the Family Foundation versus Oliver, about uh, abortion records and taxpayer-funded abortions. Jim, you just argued the case, did a stellar job. Tell us about this case a little bit and what you anticipate. Well, we had a really good foundation because Josh was the one that uh, had requested, pursuant to the Freedom of Information Act here in Virginia, uh, records from the Virginia Department of Public Health. According to the law here in Virginia, the Commonwealth can pay for abortions under very limited circumstances. Uh, they can pay in, in terms of rape or incest, uh, as well as if there's a, a serious physical uh, abnormality with, with the fetus. And what we ask for is a cover sheets of those procedures that justify uh, the Commonwealth taxpayers paying for these abortions. And the Virginia Department of Health came back and said, no, you can't have those. Those are health records, and therefore they can't be disclosed. And that was the fight uh, uh, today before uh, Judge Snuckles. Uh, are those two sheets, which we view as cover sheets, are those cover sheets medical records that they can keep away from our Freedom of Information uh, Act request? Uh, Judge uh, Snuckles uh, heard our argument uh, for, a, uh, for 30 minutes and in addition put a little pressure on the Commonwealth because the Commonwealth has got the uh, burden of proving that these two cover sheets are actually health care records. And uh, they had to put on a witness uh, uh, to prove up this exemption. And the witness said very plainly, those two sheets that are being requested are cover sheets, but attached to them are the medical records. And we didn't ask for any of those medical records. So we feel that the uh, argument went very well. Uh, Judge uh, uh, Snuckles uh, decided to uh, keep uh, the case under advisement. In other words, he's gonna think about it for a couple days probably do a little bit more research, and then what he'll do is he'll write a letter to both sides with his ruling. Uh, he said that uh, he couldn't promise us a specific date, but said it would be within a short period of time. So uh, I think that clearly would be before the end of the summer, uh, but perhaps even uh, uh, by the end of, of the month. And so uh, I'm reporting here from Richmond Circuit Court, uh, your founding Freedoms Law Center attorneys, Josh, and Jim.